Okay, let's go over Zoho.com. This is an online uh, web-based application where you have a lot of different products under one. I'm going to go over just Creator. You'll notice that there's a lot of other applications here, but I'm going to go over the online database part. And I'm going to go pretty quick, so it's not an instructional how-to. This is just showing you how easy it is to use. So you'll notice here I have a lot of different applications. Let's go through, and let's just create one. Let's say TLTR. Um, database. Let's create that. So this be our example. Now the reason I started using this was because I was trying to create a database online and forms that would link to it and I was using Access and I was getting really frustrated. So I started using this back in 2007 and they have just improved it over the last couple of years so it's it gets better and better each year. So let's go through here. Let's call this a TLTR form. So I'll, I'll know which one's a form, which one's not. And uh, let's say we want to create a form. You'll notice over here um, pops up. You just click on it if you need to make any changes. Let's say that that's last name. Maybe we're doing a, a survey or, or a sign up for TLTR or something. Let's make that mandatory. You see a little red asterisk pop up, so that's mandatory. And there's a lot of other things that you can go in here and set. Let's say we want the person's email. I want to find out how they like the meeting. Or let's just say that we're doing this about the video. Okay, so we want their email. We won't make that mandatory, but we want no duplicate emails. So that's a way of, of making sure we don't get a bunch of different comments from the same person. We just want it once and so we can set email as no duplicate and they would actually have to use a different email to to do that. Let's say drop down. Let's say we didn't want that you know to be drop down. Maybe we want it to be a radio button. You can go down here and change the top so I can make that a radio button instead. So I just changed it instead of drop down. Now it's choices here by radio button. And let's just say was the Zoho video useful? Oops, useful question. So we're, in this case, we're making this a survey yes, no. Maybe you'll see up here it's making these changes automatically, it's saving them. And there's a lot of other stuff that you can do. And let's say we want the date, so let's go in here and add the date real quick. So, date and time that they submitted, let's just go with date. So, you can see it's just drag and drop, pretty easy to do. And then, um, so there, our form's created. And of course, we can make it more complex, and there's a lot of other stuff, but again, this is not an instructional video. So we have all this set up. Let's go in here and access this application so that you can see how it works. And let's see here. I'll type my last name in, my email. Was this useful? Maybe. And the date that I submitted it. Submit. So this is our form. This is what we would send to somebody to get our information and then we would have access unless we wanted to give them access to the database. This is to the database itself and so it shows that yes I submitted it. I thought it was it was maybe helpful and uh, so there's the database. So let's go back to the form. Let's say we want to email that form to somebody. We just hit permalink. We go down through here. Now this link here they would have to log in. They'd have to have a username and password to log in. We don't want that. We want to send them this longer link so that they can just automatically send this out. So here's one. Let me create this from scratch. Let me show you how to hyperlink it. So you could do this in Outlook. Click here to view or oops, view form. So I could hyperlink this here. And this is this would work the same way in Outlook in an Outlook email. So now when I click on that, control click, it's going to open up that view. And now I could submit um, 
another name. So Lockhart. show you how you can submit it. Alright, so now let's go back in here, close that out, and look at the database again. And now we see that Vincent has gone in and submitted it. So I, I emailed it to him, just pretend, and uh, he was able to click on this and go into the database itself. So pretty easy to use. You can also embed this into websites. You can embed the database, you can embed the form, You'll probably only want to embed the form unless you want other people to be able to see your database. But you could send it out to them and requ require them to log in so you can embed into your website. One last thing is when you want to see your results, you can go over here and export. So you can import data from an Excel file. You can export it out in an Excel PDF, whatever you're looking for.